financing, you know, whatever your shares, your investment, your loans, all comes under financing. Variable cost is around 70 per unit. What is the formula for financing leverage? EBIT divided by EBT, earning before tax. A warm welcome to one and all, this is your other sir here. Lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the temple of excellence. And now we are in the session one and your miscellaneous topic. What is miscellaneous topic? Miscellaneous topic is nothing but we are talking about leverages. Leverages, it is nothing but the risk what company will take in their investment. Now, so this is one of the extra topic you have in your syllabus. Normally it comes under your cost of capital topic, but uh, normally we do it separately and you will get one 10 mark questions on this. We'll work out what is leverages and what kind of problems you will get. We'll go for next slide. And the agenda is very simple, leverages, concept, meaning, and finally we go for the small, small, Problems and it is one of the easiest topic. You can expect this for 10 mark, or else it may come for 5 mark. Clear? Yes. So we'll go with the problems like from the following information: calculate operating, financing, and combined leverages. Now, so you have sales of rupees 10 lakh, variable cost 6 lakh, fixed cost 2 lakh. Interest 8% on debenture of rupees 10 lakh. All this information you have. How to do this? I'll show you. The format is very simple. We have to prepare a table. So what is a table like? What is your sales? Sales is your selling price is 10 lakh. Minus variable cost sales minus variable cost so what is your variable cost the variable cost is 6 lakh sales minus variable cost we call it as contribution minus fixed cost so what is your fixed cost in this fixed cost we have 2 lakh so we take 2 lakh as your fixed cost 4 lakh minus 2 lakh is how much 2 lakh so your fixed cost we deducted and we got 2 lakh what is this this we call it as EBIT EBIT minus interest Interest usually calculated on what? Interest is usually calculated on debentures. What is your debenture value? Your debenture value is 10 lakh on 10 lakh calculate 8%. 10 lakh on that you calculate 8%. So how much it is? It will be 80,000. 2 lakh minus 80,000, I got 1 lakh 20,000. This is what earning after tax. Your heading is computation of earning after tax. So these are the things we are supposed to calculate. First, before you start your leverages topic, we have to find out what is your earning after tax. Hope you are clear. You got your earning after tax. Now, earning after tax you got in this and we have to go for your leverages topic. Now, we'll go one by one. The first one is operating leverage second one is financing leverage and the third one is 
कंबाइंड लिवरेज सो वी हैव थ्री थिंग्स वन इज ऑपरेटिंग फिनांसिंग एंड कंबाइंड वॉट इज ऑपरेटिंग ऑल द ऑपरेटिंग योर सेल्स योर रेवेन्यू जनरेटेड थिंग्स इन दट वॉट वी कैलकुलेट दर इज ऑपरेटिंग लिवरेज द रिस्क वॉट इज इन्वॉल्व फिनांसिंग यू नो वॉट एवर योर शेयर्स योर इन्वेस्टमेंट योर लोन्स ऑल कम्स एंड ऑफ फिनांसिंग सो मेनली वी डू दिस कैलकुलेशन फॉर योर फिनांसिंग लिवरेज why because whatever the capital you have invested whether it is worth or not whether it is a risky or risk free all those we have to calculate and the last one combined leverage don't go in depth you will get only basic problems in this now operating leverage what is the formula the formula is contribution divided by ebit there is a formula for operating leverage what is the formula for financing leverage ebit divided by ebt earning before tax what is the formula for combined leverage combined leverage is very simple operating multiplied with financing operating leverage multiplied with financing leverage will go one by one what is your contribution in this 4 lakh 4 lakh divided by what is your ebit 2 lakh so it will be how much 4 lakh divided by 2 lakh second what is your ebit your ebit is how much 2 lakh so this must be earning before tax because tax we have not at deducted so it will be what ebt ebt is how much 2 lakh and your eat is how much or earning before tax is 1 lakh 20000 and the last one you know that we calculate the whatever answer you got we calculate that now i'll go with the help of calculator 4 lakh divided by 2 lakh easy to calculate it is how much it is around 2 times so this is 2 times whatever answer you get we call it as times so 2 lakh divided by 1 lakh 20 2 lakh divided by 1 lakh 20 we call it as 1.66 times 1.66 times and the next one whatever answer you got 2 times And one point double six. See what is the answer? So it will be into two. I got three point double three. Three point three three. Hope you got this much only. Your operating, financing, as well as investing activity. Operating activity, operating leverages, financing leverages, and combined leverages. I'll go for the next problem. It is almost similar type only. Here number of units given, we have to multiply. Your sales, your sales will be six thousand into one twenty. It will be six thousand into one twenty. I got seven lakh twenty thousand. Your answer is seven lakh twenty thousand. Less variable cost. How much? Variable cost is around seventy per unit. Now. So it will be six thousand multiplied with seventy. How much we will get? Almost four lakh twenty thousand. I'll cross check once. Six thousand multiplied with seventy. I got around four lakh twenty thousand. So how much it is? Around three lakh you got. Now, so this is what contribution. After contribution, we minus what? Fixed cost. What is the fixed cost? We have around two lakh as fixed cost minus two lakh. Your answer is one lakh. So we got earning before tax and interest. Now minus what? 
interest. So interest, how much we have? So we have to calculate on three lakh eight percent. On three lakh into eight percent, it will be twenty four thousand. You got answer of seventy six thousand. It is a what? This we call it as earning before tax. Clear? So it is earning before tax. We don't have tax percentage, so we don't calculate tax. Now, if you go with seven lakh twenty minus four twenty, you got three lakh minus two lakh, you got one lakh minus interest twenty four thousand. So you got around on three lakh eight percent means twenty four thousand, and the final answer is seventy six. In this, what are the information we required? We need contribution. We need EBIT. We need EBT. Clear? So we have three things. We'll go for that. Now, first one, operating leverage, financing leverage. Then combined leverage. Yeah, operating leverage, financing leverage, combined leverage. Now, what is operating leverage formula? Contribution divided by EBIT. This will be EBIT divided by EBT. This will be operating multiplied with financing. Now contribution divided by EBT. What is your contribution? Three lakh and EBT is one lakh. So this is three lakh and this is one lakh. Your EBT is one lakh. And your EBT is how much? Seventy six thousand. So what is your answer? We'll go for that. So it will be three lakh. This will be three times, and this will be one lakh divided by seventy six thousand. I got one point three one. One point three one times. Then what is the next one? We'll go for this operating into financing. So it will be how much? Your three times into one point three one. So I got around three point nine three. So this we don't call it as times. These two are times only. So it will be what? Three. Into one point three one. Hope you are clear. Yes. So this is all about your operating, financing, as well as combined. Please take screenshot. I'll go back to all the slides. This is your problem number one. This is a solution part. So this is a solution part. Second part. This is problem number two, and this is a solution part. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Please work out at home these problems. So with this, we'll complete or we'll conclude your financial management topic. Please work out in your home. Thank you.